Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's say today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of differential equations. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, question tells us that let y is equal to y of x, where y is greater than zero, be the solution curve of a differential equation. And if I write that differential equation is given to us as 1 plus x squared dy is equal to y x minus y dx. So this is your entire differential equation given to us. And we have been also told with two conditions that y at c is equal to 1 and y at x is equal to 1. Then we have to find out which of the following four options as the current equation. The first option that is given to us here is e raised to beta in rows is equal to e raised to minus 2 into 3 plus 2 root 2. Second option given to us here is e raised to 3 beta raised to minus 1 is equal to e into 5 plus root 2. Next option given to us is e raised to 3 beta raised to minus 1 is equal to e into 3 plus 2 root 2. And the last option given to us is e raised to beta inverse is e raised to minus 2 into 5. So we need to figure out which one of the following four options has the correct solution of the differential equation. So first let's try to solve that differential equation. Let's try to simplify it so that we can solve it further and get the solution here. Now if I write that differential equation, I have 1 plus x squared dy is equal to y x minus y dx. So first thing I can understand here is to multiply y with both of the terms. So I get 1 plus x squared dy is equal to xy minus y squared dx. So from this dx, if I take it in the denominator, I get dy by dx is equal to xy upon 1 plus x squared minus y squared upon Further, if I try to reframe it, I can write this as dy by dx minus xy upon 1 plus x squared is equal to minus y squared. So from here, if I try to divide throughout all the three terms by y squared, I get it here as 1 by y squared dy by dx. If I divide throughout by minus y square also, let's say. So this becomes minus 1 by y square dy by dx. So what we are doing here is I'm going to divide this entire expression by minus y square. If I'm dividing throughout the entire expression by minus y square, I get this as minus 1 by y square dy by dx. This, if I'm dividing by minus y square, I get this 1 by y x into 1 upon x squared upon 1 plus x squared is equal to here I get this as 1 upon x squared. Now once I get this entire expression, what I can put here is let's substitute 1 by y as a variable. So if I'm putting let's say 1 by y as t, I get this minus 1 by y squared dy by dx is equal to dt by dx. So once I get this, if I put that in the expression which we got earlier, my expression turns out minus 1 by y squared dy by dx is equal to dt by dx plus 1 by y we substituted as t. So x upon 1 plus x squared into t is equal to 1 upon 1. Now once I have this entire expression with me, if I'm just substituting this idea as the general form dy by dx plus dy is equal to q. Once I'm substituting this as the form, 
I get with the comparison here, P is equal to X upon 1 plus X squared. And Q is equal to 1 upon 1 plus X squared. So I have P and Q here with me. Now once I have P and Q here with me, I can just find out the integrating factor IF as e raised to integral b dx. From this expression, I understand e raised to integral of x upon 1 plus x squared dx. If I want to find the integral of x upon 1 plus x squared, I can just substitute 1 plus x squared as, let's say, any other variable a. If I'm substituting it as any other variable a, derivative gives you 2x dx is equal to a. From here, I get x dx is equal to a by b. So from here, I understand it becomes integral of e raised to integral of dA by 2a. So integral of dA, 1 by 2a dA, I can write that as integral of half. And integral of 1 by a is nothing but log of a. So here, I get this. <laughs> I get this expression as e raised to log of a raised to half. I am just using the idea of log. So I can write that in the terms of power. Now, when I have e raised to log of x, I can just write that as x entirely. From here, I understand i f becomes e raised to half. And a is nothing but 1 plus x squared. So if I resubstitute, I get that as 1 plus x squared raised to half which is nothing but square root of 1 plus x squared. So from here, I have the integrating factor with me. If I just try to find the solution here, I know for the form of dy by dx plus by equal to q, the solution is given by y into if is equal to integral q into if dx plus q. So if I write that in the form, I have y instead of y i have here as t as the variable so my solution becomes t into if which is found out root of 1 plus x squared integral of q in this case q is 1 upon 1 plus x squared and if is again root of 1 plus x squared if I further solve it, I can just resubstitute t as 1 by y. So resubstituting t as 1 by y, I get 1 by y root of 1 plus x squared is equal to integral of this is root of 1 plus x squared, this is 1 plus x squared. This I can resubstitute or write it as root of 1 plus x squared into root of 1 plus x squared. From here, I understand these expressions get cancelled out. We are left with integral of 1 upon of 1 plus x squared. Plus c, I get this 1 by y root of 1 plus x squared is equal to integral of 1 upon root of a squared plus x squared dx. That gives you log of mod of x plus root of a squared plus x squared. So from this expression, if I use the idea, I get this turned out to become log of mod of x plus root of 1 plus x squared plus. So I get this entire expression for the solution of the curve of the differential equation given to us. Now if I just use that two ideas which were given to us, the two conditions, one was y at 0 equal to 1 and y at 2 root 2 is equal to theta. In this equation of the solution curve, which we have, so we know at x equal to 0, y is equal to 1 because we have been given y of 0 is equal to 1. So if I just substitute x equal to 0 in the equation, I get this y equal to 1 is given to us. So 1 by 1 of 1 plus x squared is equal to 1. Here you get that as log of 1 plus root of 1 plus 0. So from here I get this. 
C becomes log of one dot one sorry plus x so x is zero now so it should be zero. So you get this. This is equal to one minus log of zero plus root of one plus zero squared is one. So log of one which is equal to zero. Okay. So you get C is equal to one from this expression. So your equation, which was there, the solution of that curve, turns out and simplifies to become one by y root of one plus x squared is equal to log of mod of x plus root of x plus c. C in this case we got that turning out. Now, if I just use the other condition, also we have been given that at x equal to two root two, y is equal to beta. So if I just substitute, I get one by beta into this is root of one plus x square, which is square of two root two, which is eight. It is equal to log of all of x in this case is again two root two plus root of one plus 2 root 2 square is 8 again, so root of 1 plus 8. So from here I get 1 by beta. Root of 9, which is 3. Here you get that as log of mod of 2 root 2 plus root of 9, which is 3. So from here you get it. 3 beta inverse is equal to 1 plus log of mod of 3. So from this expression, if I take the exponential on the both sides here, taking exponential on the both sides, I get e raised to 3, beta inverse is equal to e raised to 1 plus log of mod of 3 plus 2. So you have this entire thing with e raised to something. That gives us e raised to a plus b. If it is present, it is e raised to a into e raised to now once i have this e raised to one i will write it as e only this becomes again same idea e raised to log of x is equal to x you know so here also it becomes mod of three plus two multiplied with e now we know that we have to find the absolute value of three plus two root two where three is already positive two root two is also positive since the entire expression in the mod is positive, if I take it out of the mod also, you get that same expression with no negative sign. So e raised to 3 beta inverse is equal to E, and you have 3 plus 2 root 2 in which is multiplied with E, and you get this expression for the solution of the differential equation after substituting the two conditions. If you see the option that matches here with the question, you have e raised to 3 beta inverse first so that this is ruled out this is ruled out we'll let this to have that and here we got e into 3 plus 2 root 2 so this is the correct option this is also ruled out so you get b option ruled out only c option is correct and i get the correct answer for the question that is option c so c becomes the correct answer i hope you have understood this how to solve this type of question so first we just figured out and simplified the form of differential equation. Then we substituted one by y as another variable. So we got our entire equation changed in terms of t. And once we got that, we got that in general terms of dy by dx plus dy equal to q. Where I have integrating factor as e raised to integral p dx. Once we got integrating factor as root of 1 plus x square, I just found the solution of the differential equation in the form of y into if is equal to integral of 2 in y f into dx plus c. Once we solve that, we got the solution of the differential curve in the terms of this equation. Putting the two conditions at x equal to 0, y equal to 1. The first condition, we got c equal to 1. And putting second equation at x equal to 2 root to y equal to beta, we got an equation in terms of beta. We took exponential e on both sides and solved it further to get this equation. And that equation matches with option C. So C is the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood this. 
I see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our questions on JWE mains as well as 11th and 12th. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE mains as well as 11th and 12th. Thank you.